Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we have the second part of yesterday's video. We did not hit our 50 like threshold. We were close though at 40 and just if you guys forgot, here are the classes that we're using. Uh, the last game I used the Haymaker, that side, now we're on the right side of the screen with the Gorgon. And if you can remember, yesterday we won with the Haymaker, so let's see what we can do with the Gorgon. And uh, just to let you guys know, they blamed losing on using the Gorgon. So now we're going to be using it. Same exact setups, just same teams, everything. Just we completely switched our classes up just a little bit. So today I want to kind of continue with yesterday's topic of the pay to win, except instead of saying what's already there and what's wrong with that, why don't we just make up something like... Why don't we make up something that you could possibly purchase, and would it be okay? And I've been thinking about this a lot, and it has to do with the season pass and DLC for the game. The question would be, let's say you bought the season pass for Black Ops 3, and you're playing on the Xbox One, alright? That means, whenever the Xbox One gets the DLC, you get it for free at that time. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, you don't get it for free, you've already bought it. You did buy the Season Pass, but technically if you look at it as two separate things, let's just say you buy the Season Pass and it comes with the Giant, you spend $50 on one map, and you get all the other maps free. So let's just say for now, all maps are free whenever you get the Season Pass. Like, all the map packs are free whenever they come out. So... The question being is, you get that, right? And you're getting them free 30 days after PlayStation. And here's our, like, make-believe thing. Would you pay $15 more whenever the DLC comes out to get it 30 days early and or get it the day that PlayStation gets it? I'm thinking, like, I've been thinking about it, and I might just think it could possibly be worth it. I mean, the thing that you would need is the Season Pass and the DLC. Like, you would have to have the Season Pass, buy it, and then buy each map pack again for $15. So, basically double the Season Pass. Kind of like having two Season Passes. Or, if you don't want that, think about, like, a Season Pass. There's two separate Season Passes. So let's make one the normal price, $50. And then let's make another one uh, double that. A hundred dollar season pass and this is for both consoles and this would kind of clear up the game where you know PlayStation gets it first Xbox gets it first it would make it more equal to where any console could get it first it's just whoever has like that super season pass I don't know what they would call it but like early season pass where if you want to get it 30 days early you can get like the super season pass for sixty dollars or I mean a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? And if you don't, then you can wait thirty days and get it for free with the normal season pass. I think that way any console could have it. They're making more money that way. Cause I know a ton of people who pay a hundred dollars to get the maps early, especially a month early. I think that's a big thing. And it would keep the console where like, oh we get DLC. No, we get DLC down to a minimum, and I think that's something that they could do. You know, either the paying for each map separate whenever they come out, or doing, like, the two-season pass thing. I kind of do like the idea of two separate season passes. But, I don't know, maybe maybe that's just me. Maybe that's me talking, because I know a ton of people, they buy the game, they don't want to have to keep buying crap to make it work, you know what I mean? They don't want to have to keep purchasing the new map to be able to play it some people are perfectly fine playing the maps that the game have and honestly the most amount of time you're going to spend on a game is usually on the maps that come within the game itself you usually don't play the dlc as much as the rest now the only difference there is zombies if you're a hardcore zombie player or even a moderate zombie player if you enjoy zombies the DLC maps are going to hold a lot of your time. Maybe not as much as the first one, but I think over time, they're like their play value or playback value. The DLC maps tend to be the best. Like, who sits there and says, I want to go play Transit? I mean, usually it's Origins or Buried. I mean, there's tons of stuff you want to play, and it was all from DLC. So I think in a zombie player standpoint, the multiple season pass thing is a really good idea, and season pass in general is a good idea. But... I don't know. We need a little something to level up the playing field. I don't think either console should get it. Like, I'm not like, oh yeah, Xbox should get it because I'm on Xbox. Um, 
And the same thing with PlayStation 4. I think both consoles should get it first, but if you buy like a separate season pass or like a speed pass or something, you can get it 30 days early. You know, I don't know how they would do that. You wouldn't have to buy like the first season pass and then the speed pass or whatever for a hundred. It would be you can decide whether you want to spend fifty or double that and spend a hundred and get the maps thirty days early. I think they can make a profit over that, but then again, that's just me. And going on to our second topic is the weapon DLC. So I understand you're gonna have these supply crates. You you want to try to get people to use those. You want to make them have a purpose. But I feel like if you're gonna put a DLC gun into the game, it should be season pass owners. The people that bought the season pass should have those guns, and then the people that buy the map packs as they come out should have to like try to get those out of the little care package things or the crypto keys, whatever you want to call it. I think that would level it out just a little bit more and it would put more focus on trying to get the season pass because yeah, I mean, they say, okay, you got the season pass, you get this giant map. I guarantee you guys here in a month or two, you're going to be able to purchase the giant on the game. That's just how it goes. That's how it always has been. You're going to be able to have the giant and Nuketown 20, or Nuketown with a 3 in it. It's going to become free to play um, probably by the last DLC, somewhere right in there, and we're, you're going to get it. But something like a gun, something that, yes, other people can get, but at the rate that you're getting it, and it makes them a little bit more envy of you, and it makes them want to rush out and buy the season pass, I feel like... They could be on to something there. I don't know. I feel like they should be a little bit more fair to the people to put a little bit more money into their pocket. And I'm kind of getting tired of these buying crypto keys that you could get in-game, but buying them instead. I don't know. I think Advanced Warfare ruined the entire Call of Duty community because of the entire process of buying things. I mean, it was a good idea, but it just... It didn't settle well, you know what I mean? It did not grab you and say, yeah, this is a great idea. Everyone loves it. And Black Ops 3 is kind of rolling down that hill right now. They're trying to uh, they're trying to make people purchase things. And I know for Treyarch, or Activision rather, they're getting a ton of money. These companies are making the most money on Call of Duty they've ever made before. And to them, all we are are walking piggy banks. They want to reach into our piggy bank and take as much money as they can but you know where it goes from there so hope you guys enjoyed this. this is the last round um the gorgon it's not that bad i kind of like it it was a pretty good gun i might even try to use this in multiplayer um but who knows if you guys like this series and you want to play with me all links are down below don't forget if you're new here to subscribe also if you'd like to reach into your piggy bank donate just a little bit the little bit helps there is a link down below for that too like this video if you liked it my name's aaron i will see you tomorrow with a brand new video